A few months ago, I pulled out my Phytech EFI and installed this Edelbrock ProFlow 4 with port injection. And I wanted to show you guys how I hooked up my throttle cable and my kickdown cable. Welcome back to the garage, the place where we're making your classic car your dream classic car. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. Putting out how-to videos for the weekend mechanic and talking about, you know, the EFI tech for the classic car community. Now today we're talking about the throttle cable and the kickdown cable that I put on my 1975 Ford Bronco when I installed the Edelbrock Pro Flow 4. So here's the bracket that I got when I was installing the ProFlow 4. Now I'll put a link in the description below where you can get one of these off of Amazon. Uh, but it's pretty great because it just connects straight to the throttle body, uh, gives you the ability to put the throttle cable in and the kickdown uh, cable in. The link is for, it says like water pump bracket, or it might even say like Pro, Fro, Plo, <laughs> Pro Flow 3 bracket. Uh, so if it says that, it, it's totally fine. That's, that's the one that I used and it worked great. Um, now I got an email from a guy who said that he bought uh, like one of the, you know, Amazon knockoff kind of ones. And he said the bolt holes actually didn't match. So uh, if you get one that isn't the link that is in the description below, just make sure that it's gonna fit. Um, I know that the Edelbrock one is a little bit expensive. I think it's like 80 bucks. Um, but it's 80 bucks that you know is gonna work. So, uh, so just make sure that you get the right one that's actually gonna work for you. This is my throttle cable uh, that I got off Amazon as well. And then back here is my kickdown cable um, that I actually put on when I had my Phytech. But uh, I'll show you how I kind of put these together in a second. I'm sorry I didn't make an install video for them. Um, but with this, uh, make sure I'm going to put a link to the size that I got. And you want to make sure that you get this size or around this size because where this comes out, where your gas pedal actually um, is, you know, feeding this and there used to be that unit right here that had the bar that went across and then it came over well it's because your throttle is right here and these don't really line up so what you don't want to do is get a cable that just bends makes an s right here because the cable inside of this braided sleeve uh, it, it doesn't bend, it doesn't take sharp corners. So you can see mine kind of wraps around this way and that's been great. Like it, it's been, uh, it's worked really well for me. It doesn't look awesome, but uh, it works really well. Same with the kick down cable. There's a certain length that you need and I have the links uh, for those in there as well. And these are really great because it's like the steel braided sleeve um, and it, it just works really good. All right, now under here is where it gets tricky with the install. And again, I apologize guys that I did not uh, actually do an install step by step with this, but um, now that everything's kind of put together, I don't want to take it all apart. Your gas pedal will actually come out. You can spread uh, these two pieces out and pull it out. But then what you have to do is up here, you actually have to drill out the little piece that is holding the pedal in place to put the new low car cable um, and that's what i wish i would have shown as i was actually doing it um, kind of had to mod up a little piece to to go uh, through this uh, pedal and then um, I had to put this in my vise and actually bend it because uh, when I would push on the pedal, it actually wouldn't, uh, the throw wasn't enough on the pedal to get, the, get to wide open throttle. 
Now the thing that I don't really like about the setup that I've kind of created here is one, um, doing all that to the gas pedal, it, it, I had to actually bend the gas pedal uh, up. So that was kind of weird, like I don't know why that that was the case, I don't know why the throw was so much less, but you know, just stock height on my gas pedal, like when I would push it down all the way. And then the other thing that I don't really care for is it it feels pretty stiff, um, like it's a, it's a pretty firm pedal now. Um, um, and it wasn't like that before. Um, and I think that's probably that like loop that I showed you in the uh, low car um, throttle cable. So just be aware of that. But all in all, like it works and I enjoy, you know, I just shared with you the things that I don't like about it, but I do like it. Like um, it works and uh, works pretty well. I'm not gonna change it um, unless one of you comment below like, dude, you should have done this. But but uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out those links in the description below. And if you have any questions about this or uh, any of the other stuff that I've done with these EFI units, uh, make sure to leave that in the comments below and I'll see you next time.